Well, I think we should get the formalities out of the way. Um, I'm Vinny, a.k.a. Vince Tom Renaissance Man, here in Hawaii, uh, on the big island, Hawaii Island, a uh, place called Waikoloa Village. Uh, not much of a village, really, just a bunch of houses. And, um, yeah, here I am in the shop. And the sun is going to be going down soon. And just trying to get all this figured out. Um, one, of the, one of the hardest things is figuring out how to talk naturally. Everything seems to come out uh, pre-rehearsed. But we'll get over that. Um, let's see, I'm... 60 years old, born in, in Portland, Oregon, and, and moved over here 23 years ago. But uh, to go way back, I, um, well, when it comes to being a Renaissance man, the, the things that have led me here, I can say, uh, I know started when I was four years old. I, I remember drawing and, 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 having an interest for houses and architecture. I didn't know what architecture was at that time. Um, but I remember uh, drawing houses and rooms and and just wanting to be in them, some underwater houses and underground houses. Uh, I always loved science fiction. And, well, I would draw and draw and draw and draw and all through school i i didn't do a lot of school i did a lot of drawing <laughs> i i loved superheroes uh instead of uh paying attention in algebra i would draw captain america and spider-man and, and well long story short about that is uh i left home at an early age 15 uh, and yada yada went to work for my friend's dad in the construction business and started pulling my own weight and learning a lot of uh, street smarts at the age of 15 living out on your own and started taking other construction jobs uh, started getting into uh, cabinetry furniture uh, refinishing furniture I uh, I worked in a lot of plastic and, and like fiberglass acrylic shops doing custom work and oh, I had so many jobs really I've worked <laughs> I've worked a million jobs and let's see after a while I ended up um, opening my own cabinet shop yeah, near downtown Portland and I struggled with that for 10 years uh, trying to make ends meet I would um, but I I got really good at drawing and, and got uh, really good at at understanding and, and familiar with a lot of architecture in Portland uh, my, my cabinet shop I I really didn't make a whole lot of cabinets I I built fireplace mantles and bookcases and uh, architectural reproductions of, of parts for like Victorian houses, uh, the little doily things and 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 scroll work that goes on them, all all kinds of everything. But um, I wasn't a businessman. <laughs> I was uh, thirty years old at the time, whatever, and. And, and I realized it was a sinking ship. So, um, I, uh, as I'm realizing that, I decided to take a, a trip to Hawaii. Uh, I think that was around 1999. I came here to Hawaii the first time on a little vacation. And I loved it so much that um, I decided to, to sell my tools and cabinet shop and sell everything I had and just to move over here to Hawaii. Because 
uh, well, for one, it had been my dream for a long time. Uh, I think uh, Gilligan's Island kind of got me hooked on the idea of, of living for free on coconuts and bananas and, and pineapple. <laughs> I thought I'd come over here and do that, but it's a little different. Uh, one thing about Hawaii is is the art community is, is pretty vast and and well like I say I had done a lot of drawing in my life and usually always with a, a pencil you know like when I was in school I didn't have paints and things I would got used to just drawing things with the pencil black and white you know sometimes a pen I guess but um, and and well my cabinet shop I, I spent most of my time doing the designs and having my, my crew do the work. After a while, I was designing different projects every day and getting really good at drawing. But, um, but yeah, Hawaii, the, the color here and the feeling, it, it just screamed to me that I, I should put color into my work. And I took up watercolors. I would I would draw things uh, with the pen and then and then just color it in with watercolors like a like a coloring book and uh, that lasted a while. Um, I lived in a van at that time when I moved here to Hawaii. I uh, I decided to to live in in a van, an 1984 Ford Club Chateau, a long a uh, van with enough room for a bed and a desk little thing and I kind of made a tiny home of my own at that time and and I lived in that for two years uh, traveling around painting learning how to paint uh, and selling my stuff but, uh, then 911 hit and um, uh, business the tourist business died out and and they were my main customers so I'm kind of running out of money and uh, got a job with the guy building the house contractor guy and it started building houses and started building more houses and more houses and designing he got set up with the CAD program doing a lot of drafting and designing of the houses and and I would build them uh, a lot of them all by myself. Everything from the, the concrete foundation work all up to the top nail of the top shingle on the top of the roof and every lick of paint. And, and let's see what happened after that. Well, I, I built my own house. I'm standing in the, the garage of the house I built. And I, I never really took to, to punching a clock and working for somebody else. Uh, for the last 10 years, I've been doing what I call side jobs. And, and oh, I've, I've, it just seems like I've done it all. Uh, uh, laying tile and sheetrock and painting and remodeling, more drafting, lots of finished carpentry, lots of finished carpentry, plumbing. Oh, I got good at plumbing. And uh, did I tell you I was in the Army? I was in the Army, and I, I learned a lot about electronics. So I've taken on a lot of, uh, taken on a lot of electric, uh, electrical work here in the village in Hawaii. I'm stepping outside now. And it's always hot here. Uh, sweltering, actually. Every day it gets up to like 90 degrees and just blistering hot. I shouldn't be out here without my hat on. I wanted to show you my newly shaved head. Let's get my hat and step outside. Um, let's see, that kind of brings you up to date. I think about, um, it was about three, four years ago, I uh, started thinking about what to do next. I had some money and stuff and started doing drawings for tiny houses. Of course, they started be, uh, coming into style with all the rage, you know, uh, a few years back. And I thought, well, hey, I ought to get on that bandwagon and start building tiny houses myself. 
So I drew and I designed and I did thumbnail drawings and contemplated this and that and and well I was ready to start building and and then um, well we they, they got the sickness you know you've heard of the um, the COVID pandemic kind of took over the whole game there and the idea of building the tiny house kind of died out for a while and. I had some health issues of my own that um, yeah, it's another story but um, I decided that uh, well there there's no time like the present if I'm ever gonna start building my own tiny house I, I, I should start doing it now uh, a friend of mine uh, let me have this trailer on kind of a contingency basis uh, it's nice heavy-duty uh, five foot by ten foot long uh, solid box steel one ton kind of vehicle and um, yeah it, now's the time so I got myself some wood and it just I, I didn't I didn't work up a set of plans I've, I've got I've got everything I need to know just burn into my brain or the hard drive in my brain I, I know how it's all going to go together so I don't know maybe I'll show you some sketches and stuff a little more accurate a little later on and well I'm uh, I am drinking a beer at sunset here in Hawaii Aloha um, but I, I'm not really into to moving the camera around all over the place you know, doing all this editing and, and stuff uh, I just build and I just do things and, and well you'll find out uh, soon uh, really soon uh, how much of a renaissance man I am uh, not just art painting or building you know, uh, crafting with wood but um, I, I play music and I tell jokes and um, well, I do all kinds of stuff. You'll find out soon enough. Uh, I'm into, um, yeah, you'll find out. <laughs> Don't want to give it away. But, um, yeah, here's, um, there's my, my tiny home. It's going to be, um, well, I'll, I'll post some pictures of it here in a bit. It's, it's going to be a, a micro home, not just a tiny home, a micro home. Uh, it will have pressurized hot water and electricity and a shower and all that a stove and, and and well the concept is to uh, to make it look kind of turtley you know, paint it green and the top will be arched and kind of shell shaped and God that's where I got the idea of the turtle the Hawaiian sea turtle they call the, the Honu and, and holo 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 means in Hawaiian to, to travel around and around to, to go out traveling and so I thought that was pretty appropriate to have a turtley tiny home on wheels called the holo holo honu and and well I kind of really don't know what to call call it a ohana or uh, or hale. A hale is a house, the Hawaiian word for house, and ohana is the Hawaiian word for uh, um, for guest house. <laughs> and and well, uh, I I thought that sounds kind of nice. The holo holo honu ohana has a little ring to it, so I might change the name there. Uh, it's a work in progress. And, and well, I got to get some more wood in now and, and start making the walls. I've, I've got, um, you know, I've got all kinds of lots of other stuff from uh, doing my, all the jobs I've done over the years. Got electrical supplies, plumbing supplies. I've got all kinds of, uh, of uh, tropical Hawaiian hardwoods, coal wood and mango and monkey pod i have a whole bunch of teak wood and i'm starting to make um 
starting to make uh, the the windows and I'm gonna make a door uh, here's here's a window I made out of uh, recycled repurposed teak a couple years ago I found a, a a teak patio chair broken down on the side of the road I picked it up and and well I I make picture frames and I make uh, little furniture things and well that's good wood teak lasts forever it's Oh, a great thing to make windows out of. <clears throat> you see, there's a bunch of picture frames I make. And, and well, that's that's me uh, here in Hawaii. You can call me Vinny. And, and well, I, I better, um, I better get at it. And, well, I'll see you in a few. Uh, thanks for watching. And, aloha.